Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to change your Firefox browser from a 32 to 64 bit setup. Now most of you guys who use Firefox should know that it is a 32 bit browser in most cases. And that works for most people and that's usually not an issue. But if for some reason you wanted to turn into a 64 bit version of the browser, this tutorial will be for you guys. So we're going to jump right into it and we're going to start by opening up any web browser but since this tutorial is about Firefox I think it is fitting that we open up the Mozilla Firefox web browser for this tutorial again doesn't have to be Firefox but if you want to type in the Google download Firefox So there should be something that says download Firefox free web browser. You want to open that up. So it should say browse freely at the time of this recording. Free download should be on the left. You want to go down to where it says Firefox or other platforms and languages and you want to left click on this hyperlink. On the area on the right that says Firefox or other platforms, you want to download it for Windows 64 bit. If you're on Linux, you can also download the 64 bit version as well. And keep in mind, if you just clicked on the free download button on the left side, it would download the same version you currently had anyway. And that's not what we want. So if we save that, the 64-bit version, and we run it, as if we were going to update or install over Firefox, which is perfectly fine. You do not need to uninstall Firefox in order to run the 64-bit version. So I'm going to click on Upgrade here. And this should take a moment, so I'm just going to be patient, and I'm going to wait it out. Okay, so then at this point, Firefox should reopen up once it's finished updating to the 64-bit version. So at this point, you should be running the 64-bit version of Firefox, and that should pretty much be it for this tutorial. So I hope I helped you out, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.